Hey folks, this is Dr. Ruscio. I'm here with Johnny, who has had some really awesome results with treating SIBO, and, and so I asked John if, or Johnny if he'd be willing to kind of share some of that with us, and uh, he said yes, so John, thank you for yep. taking, taking a moment. Um, <coughs> the, the, the quick kind of backstory on, on John's case was you came in with rheumatoid arthritis that was, you know, getting pretty, pretty severe. Um, yeah, getting pretty bad. Yeah, it was, it was certainly something that I could tell we really needed to act on. And you had no digestive symptoms, really, at all. Um, Nothing that was worth mentioning, really. Yeah. Sure. sure. But I said, you know, let's let's do a double check, knowing the strong relationship between the gut and the immune system, and, and certainly that includes RA. And so we did two things. We we got you on the autoimmune paleo protocol from being on paleo previously. That right. seemed to give us a little bit of improvement. Seems yeah. Like, seems like potatoes, based upon your um, recent bringing potatoes back in, right. the flare may have been an issue. Um, that I don't think is too new of a concept to people. But what I thought was really interesting was you found SIBO, even though you had literally none of the virtually none of the symptoms that are associated right. with SIBO. And then more importantly, when we treated it, your joint pain, boom, your fatigue got a lot better. Um, yeah, I mean, within like a week, like things really started turning around. So. Yeah, it was really a lot more than I ever expected. Sure, sure. So, I mean, I guess that's kind of the bird's eye view, but anything that you maybe want to share with people? Um, Not to put you I mean, other side. than, <laughs> you know, being like, like I said, like I was pretty surprised that like the SIBO like could have actually had that large of an effect without causing any kind of digestive symptoms or anything like that. Like mine was all fatigue, like, um, you know, my skin would break out. Uh, my skin's cleared up like a whole lot. It's like probably clearer than it's been in like 15 years. Nice. But um, so just things like that. And it was very cyclical. Like I'd have like maybe three weeks where I'd just be really tired. I'd have a few weeks where I felt a little better. And uh, I'd just been spinning my wheels for probably a year and a half at least. Um, so yeah, like I. Uh, uh, like like allergies would get a lot worse and sure. my skin would break out and I'd just be really tired. Sure. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. So I mean, it's a, it's a great example, uh, and and maybe and hopefully for people watching or reading or listening to this, uh, a good kind of grounding example of how important and far-reaching the gut can be. And this is kind of reminiscent of the experience I had back when I was a patient. Know, years and years and years ago now, but I had no gut symptoms, even though I had um, a really, really bad intestinal amoeba, or I had really, really right. minor, minor gut symptoms, nothing really to, you know, reflect. Yeah, yeah. But really bad insomnia, really bad fatigue, definitely had some joint pain, had some really bad brain fog, and so I always try to keep that in the back of my mind with patients that even though you don't have digestive symptoms, something could be awry in the gut. Right. Things elsewhere, and so you were kind of a textbook example of that. Oh yeah, definitely. And now you're doing you're doing really well. We're we're waiting on your SIBO labs, but I anticipate that your SIBO labs are either greatly improved or you're totally clear, and we'll know that shortly. And then we'll just kind yeah. of next step. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel like I have any of the symptoms anymore. Like now that you know it's probably been cleared or been knocked back at least. Like I can actually tell what the SIBO is causing, so it's. I'm pretty sure it's probably good to go on that now. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I think it's, it's definitely probably gone based upon the way you present and just a, a good kind of reminder to to you, to me, to everyone that the gut can really have far-reaching effects. And, and so uh, thank you so much, Johnny, for taking the moment to share. I know this is going to help a lot of people. So thank you again, and I'm, I'm pumped that you're doing so well.